Jeff. You are the man. You are Jeff Richards. And I have looked up to you. I'm a brand new baby comic. I know I look older. But I have been doing comedy. First off, yeah. you look great. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. You are a real human being. He gives eye contact. He smiles. But he, only to you. You talk to women. You show respect. When you came in, you knocked... I've met a lot of celebrities in my life. I've met a lot of comics. I've met a lot of people around the world. You are stellar. Oh, thanks. Well, I and would... I've, I've watched your comedy. I've followed it. I'm a fan. And I'm new at doing comedy. I'm so glad I get to podcast you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, I've looked up things about you. And I've watched other podcasts that you've done. And... You know, the same old questions keep coming up, but they're not coming from me. And Like, how excited were you when you got to be on SL, SNL? I know you yeah. did it for about five years. Three now, years, yeah. Right? Oh, but it was that great. That must have been like a, the highest. Oh, yeah, time. so fun. Yeah, to go from Mad TV, too, because I, I thought I was never going to get ever be able to get on there. And then I, did, then I got an audition out of nowhere. How I mean, not out of nowhere, but to me it was, because, you know, the age manager went and got it. Isn't that, like, cutting edge to have both of those scenarios not against each other, but allowing me to do both at the same time? No, I didn't do them at the same time. Oh, I thought you had them going at the same time. Not at the same time, no. Oh, okay. There was, like, about eight, nine months apart. Okay. Okay, the internet's wrong, then. It says they're going at the same time? Yeah, so you're the first to do them both at the same time. Is that what it says? Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. So, where are you from? Because I didn't, I didn't look the up... The East Bay. East Bay. East Bay area, San Francisco, San Francisco area. Okay. What got you into comedy? I know it got me in, pain. But, like, you, I want to know. Like, people aren't asking oh, you. Oh, I just like being funny and doing voices and... You did this yeah. since high school. Yeah. You wrote sketch comedy. You were in a comic troupe. Yeah. So, like, your entire life you made people laugh. Was there a moment that you started making people laugh? What got you ignited to make people laugh? I don't know. You're the best. No. Yes. I just, uh, I think, I, I don't know, I had pretty funny parents, and they encouraged it, and, you know, I got to impersonate you know, just different. I think I do do like my uncle, and I would do like uh, teachers and stuff. Yeah, I could do a little bit of my dad. Um, my mom later on, I could do her. You know, do her good. Drunk girl. Drunk girl. Isn't my mom? But some of the stuff she would say, I wrote down, and I thought that sounds like what a a twenty year old would say. You know, yeah. She had she's very young like that. You know? My mom was a bartender, and so um, and she got really. They, my parents went through the Holocaust and came to America, turned to booze to forget. And so I see drunk girl. I mean, my mom comes out through you. You're doing drunk girl. So yeah, yeah cool. Like that whole thing. How did you get so good? Other than practice, how did you get so good at? A, I can't impersonate myself. Really, I'm still finding my voice. How yeah. do you do? How did you get to do in person? Well, I don't know. It takes it took a long time to get to get any of them down. And now I think the, the the challenge is coming up with ones that are new and trying to figure out who. I mean, a whole audience from somewhere else. Are they all gonna really know the person you're about to impersonate? It's like it's kind of a weird thing. It's very hard to kind of pick them. Yeah. And that you can go to the ones that you like. You refer to uh, somebody that had passed on tonight. And some people yeah. wouldn't go there. You know, like they were afraid to do that.